Hey guys, what's up? It's me. Uh, so I just want to make a, a video. Um, I just wanted people's thoughts, uh, suggestions, comments. If you are consistently reading your Bible, if you're not, why, what the struggles are. And do not, do not say, I don't have time, please. Because that's a lame excuse that even I'm struggling with. And I think it's a given for most people, we just get busy, and so that's an automatic, like, everyone could say that, so that doesn't count. Seriously, no. Do not go there. So, um, like, yeah. So, I mean, because I, I, that's one of my challenges, and I know a lot of people struggle with that. So, like, don't tell me that, because I probably, 99.9% .9 of us, that's our problem. My thing, though, is not so much... Well, it's not so much like I don't have the time because I do. But my problem is I spend so much time listening to music. And I think the main reason I don't read the Bible that much is because I get lost, confused, and frustrated. And I think it's because there's so much and it's so hard to understand sometimes. Like, if you're not reading like Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, it's, I don't know, it can get really hard. And... Uh, so my thing is, and I've tried several different things, um, and I'm not very really consistent with my prayer life either, which I don't want to deviate into because I tried to do it and it made this video too long. Uh, but for prayer, I think if I could get more biblically there, then I think I could, um, my prayer would be better and I think I'd be more comfortable in it. And, uh, you know, because I think faith comes by the word, and then, you know, I think once you're scripturally in tune, you, you can pray better. And I think, you know, like, you can only break one habit at a time. And I have had a period in my life where I was consistently reading, but then if I get behind, then it all goes by the wayside. So my thing is, a lot of the devotions out there, are really short. They're like five minutes, which I understand because a lot of people don't have a lot of time. But for me, when I do like a five-minute devotional, I feel like I am just toying up to get it done and then I'm like, okay, read the Bible. And it'll we have like a little story and then it'll have like two verses. And I'm like, okay. So you're not barely really even getting scripture. And so, but then my problem is, like one of my friends got me doing and I like this concept but it's very hard for me because it's so all over the place he had me buy this app yes I didn't know it cost him money until I actually went to go buy the thing it's like 99 cents I don't know not a big deal he had me buy this app called bible marks and it is this system developed by this professor it's called the Grant Horner system it's kind of hard to explain but there's 10 lists like 10 10 lists and so you read like 10 chapters a day and you it's designed to get you into the word and then you never read the same scriptures twice which I like and then eventually scriptures will start cross-referencing each other is what my friend tells me I think I'm not far enough into it um uh so like he says that like eventually it'll cross-reference where you'll read like something in Matthew about Jesus dying on the cross, and then you'll read the prophecy in Isaiah, and it'll, like, cross each other to where you're like, oh, that goes with that, you know, because a lot of times the Bible will cross-reference, you know, like Isaiah, you know, 53 has all the scriptures about how Jesus dying on the cross, and then in Matthew it's, like, revealed, and so, you know, Jesus dies on the cross for a sin. Uh, and so it cross-references, but it aligns these different books. Like, I'll read Mark, like, right now... I'm on where I'll read, like, Mark and then Genesis. And then that's list one and two. And then, like, this next two lists, you read, like, like, uh, you read, like, um, hold on. I'll tell you where I'm at. Open Bible Marks. I know, this is very confusing. You read Proverbs and Acts over and over every Bible month. Bible but then everything else has, like, a list where you read through the list. You, you like, all the other lists just keep going. Those are the only two that you read every month over, 
because it takes a month and then, um, and so, um, hold on, where am I at? So, okay, so I read a month and then Genesis. And then you read, like, 2 Corinthians, and then 1 John. And it'll go, like, because I'm already, like, so far into it. It'll go, like, where I started out with Matthew in Genesis, and I finished Matthew, so now I'm in Mark. Because the list is, like, a big list, and there's, like, like the first list has... 40 of 89. So it's that, the first list is like all the Gospels, like Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. And then, like the second list is like 187. I think it's supposed to be like the books of the law, stuff like that, like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. And so you finish a book and then the list keeps going and it will go into the next book. And so you keep reading these over and over and you never read the same scripture. So then after you read, let's see that so then you do two corinthians and then first john and then job 40 and then psalms 40 and then you do proverbs and judges and then the last two are isaiah and then acts and you always do acts and you always do proverbs so my problem with this plan is a couple things actually i like the concept and i love the idea because I really want to get into the word. My problem is you have to skip around so much, which isn't really hard because you can multitask with your apps. And now with the app switcher, it's way easier. I love the new app switcher uh, with iOS. So my problem now with this plan is twofold. First of all, it takes a lot of time to read 10 chapters. And like my friend says, like he'll break it up throughout the day. He'll read a little bit and then he'll read a little bit. I cannot because I don't usually have time to read in the morning because I get up with just enough time to hurry up and get ready and I'm usually so tired that if I read in the morning I'm not going to be able to think and then reading in the evening that would only be breaking it up twice and so my other problem is it's super long to read 10 chapters when they're really short it's fine but some of these chapters can get lengthy and so it can take a couple of hours especially with like all the switching around and i want to spend more than five minutes reading but not like three hours you know and then my other problem with the plan is there's not really any guidance like with the devotional you have some scriptures or you have a bible story and they apply it you know, kind of like, okay, you have all these, um, like, like, okay, they'll talk about worry, for example, and they'll quote, like, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, and whatever that is in the New Testament about, you know, who can add one hour to his life by worrying, I don't know exactly what it is, they'll quote those, and Philippians 4, 6, and 7 is, do not be anxious about anything, but pray, come to God with prayer and supplication, um, but, uh, you know, they'll use that, and then they'll talk about how, you know, like, God cares for, like, if God cares so much for the lilies, and God cares so much for the flowers and the sparrows, then God cares about us, so we don't need to worry, so it kind of applies it. But my problem with this plan, with the ten chapters, is it's all over the place, and I finished reading, and I've read so much that I'm trying to figure out what I read and what I learned, because I'm lost. Like, I'm all over the place. Like, and, and even if you do the Bible straight through, that's hard because you're like, oh, I've read this. And then you know what's coming next, so then you're bored. But, like, with this, um, it's hard because, okay, so you read, like, Matthew, and then you read Genesis, and then you read first, and you're all over. It's like, you know, first I'm reading about Jesus Sermon on the Mount, then I'm reading about Joseph, and then I'm reading about Samson meaning Delilah, and then I'm reading about... Um, Paul getting, uh, uh, having his vision with the, you know, and those chapters aren't in order, I'm just saying. And then you're reading Psalms where David's crying to God, and then you're reading Proverbs where Solomon's giving you wisdom, and so you have all this, you know, stuff, and then you're just, it's so much in different directions that you're just all over. And then I get done, and I'm like, oh, that's exhausting, you know, like, I just read so many different things and so many different topics and so many different people and it all in one setting and I'm just like, 
what do I take away from it? I mean, there's so much there. It's intertwining somehow, but there's so much there. It's like I just read 50 bazillion, like, it's so all over the place. That, like, there's no guidance and application. You know, but then, like I said, the devotionals, a lot of them are very cheesy and they're so short. And then, you know, I thought it'd be a good idea with the U version has the plans, but a lot of them are short or they're the canonical plan where you read so many chapters a day and then you you know what's coming next. And so that's hard. But then I always forget to read. And so I set up those reminders. But then now I've gotten to the point where I can just zip the reminder off and forget to read. But then my other problem is the devotionals that have like day one, day two, day three, day four. If I get behind, then I just get frustrated and I'm like, oh, I'm on day eight and I stopped at day four and I'm four days behind and now I got to catch up and oh my gosh, it's going to take forever and I'll forget it. I'm stuck in a weed because gosh, it's so much trouble to catch up, but then I'm not on the right day. So then I have to catch up to the day that I'm on. And so I don't really like it's hard because the daily devotionals, if you get behind, then you're focused so much. Instead of being focused on reading the Bible and learning what you're reading, you're more focused on keeping up with it and am I on the right day? And then you don't get nothing out of it because you're so worried about am I caught up? Am I on the right day? What, I'm behind two days. How do I catch up? And then you worry so much about that and you focus so much on that that it distracts you from the actual word and you get nothing out of it. So I'm just interested in suggestions, things like that. Not that famous people really have that much influence or matter, but I have heard a couple of things. Uh, A.J. Michalka, in an interview for Grace Unplugged, was talking about she reads Jesus Calling, which I've heard people talk about. But I did look at some of that, and it seemed very short because they had a free app where you could download, and then the paid app is $9.99. But then that's a 365-day thing, and then when it's over, you just read it again and again and again because it's the same devotional. So that confuses me. So you pay $9.99, and then after a year, you just start over? Because then you'll be like, oh, I've read that. And then the other thing is, uh, Andy Minio, I think, on some interview was talking about he reads, like, some kind of Spurgeon app. So I don't, I don't know, like, what that's about. But, like, I'm just curious, like, what people read, how you manage to be consistent, if you're not, what the struggles are. I know this is very vulnerable and honest, but... I'm just trying to get into a better rhythm because I know I need to read the Bible more, but I'm just lost. And there's so much out there. There's so much devotionals and so many things that try to get you to read the Bible in it. I'm not saying it's bad, but there's so much information and there's so many people writing this. Like this person has a devotional and that person has a devotional. And there's devotionals on worry and there's devotionals on depression and there's devotionals on anxiety and there's devotionals on marriage and divorce and... Good gosh, you know, it just keeps going. And so I'm just curious, like, if anybody has any thoughts. Um, and I hope that you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Oh, not again. Ah. Full audio button. Stop recording button.